Last week here in Motoring Forum, we discussed the opposing stand of the Automobile Association Philippines as voiced by its president Gus Lagman regarding the ruling of the DOTC which is being implemented by DLTO with regard to the mandatory replacement of all registration plates to new ones. To clear the issue, we have invited to Modern Today's Modern Forum, Jason Salvador, spokesperson of the LTO. A big welcome once again to Modern Today, Jason. Hi, Sir Butch. Good afternoon. It's always a pleasure to be in your show. Now, there are some FAQs or frequently asked questions that have been reaching us from motorists regarding the replacement of old motor vehicle license plates with the newly designed ones upon registration. For most of these questions is whether the replacement is obligatory or dictated by law or only when you like it basis on the part of the vehicle owner. Well, yes, um, the project is called the Plate Standardization Program. The aim of the, the project is to have a uniform design for all motor vehicles and motorcycle plates all over the country. As you can notice, as it is now, there are around nine different designs of license plates in the Philippines, which makes it very confusing, not only for uh, law, law enforcement officers, but to ordinary motorists and civilians as well. So we opted to do this so that it won't be easily um, faked and there won't be any more problems with regards to the palit plaka, kambal plaka, or baklas plaka. Um, the replacement of plates is, uh, is really obligatory. We timed it... Uh, um, during the, it will coincide with their registration. For example, if you are due for registration and your vehicle plate is ending in one, once you register your vehicle, you will be asked to pay for your replacement of plates. And then after 45 days, you will be receiving your new plates with the new improved designs and improved security features. Tell us, Jason, how long will it take for the new plate to be available and how will it differ from the old? Will the letters and numbers be the same? That's a very good question, Sir Butch. Um, the plates will be ready in around 45 day in around a 45 day period. The plates will remain the same in the sense that um, the alphanumerics will remain. For example, if you have been issued ABC123 previously, you will also be issued a new plate with a new design with the new improved security features, but with the same alphanumerics ABC123. Some motorists and motoring associations, specifically the AAP or the Automobile Association Philippines have made known their objections to this obligatory move citing that well taken care of plates that show clearly their alphanumeric markings for easy identification have no need for replacement considering that the new plates should also bear the same identifying letters and numbers. Doing so would only be an additional financial burden in this case 450 pesos on top of the registration fees. What's the DOT's reaction to this varying stand? Well, of course we respect the opinions of various motoring groups and the AAP as well, but you need to understand that the new, the new license plates will not only be an improved design for your vehicles, but it will also give you a new sense of security. Um, on the contrary, we've been receiving since last year a lot of requests from motorists to, to change their plates. Um, that's why we see it as a, as a new move to make sure that you not, need not only improve the looks of your vehicle but ensure the securities as well. Jason, can you take this opportunity to explain to our viewers the difference of the newly designed plate from the old ones and its advantages and benefits to the vehicle owner and to the authorities? Well, uh, there are a lot of advantages for the new license plate design. For one, the new design, which is uh, black on white, is one of the most internationally de accepted design for license plates. Aside from it being the most highly visible from any angle and from, from a distance, that's why we are using the new design. It's more simpler, so that's more identifiable. And aside from that, it has a lot of security features. Um, it has a new security marking, it has a barcode. It has a micro etching that can't be easily duplicated. And aside from that, we've also incorporated a tamper-proof bolt and a third plate sticker, which involves or which indicates the plate as well. So it, this serves as a secondary identify, identifying mark for your vehicle. And while you're at it, can you also kindly explain what the third plate windshield sticker is and how it differs from the old? 
Well, um, the third plate sticker or what we call the, the windshield sticker is an Im improved design and an improved security feature of the new license plate because it does not only validate your year of registration but it also indicates your plate number. For example, if you've been issued ABC123 again, uh, your windshield sticker will indicate ABC123 to serve as a secondary identifying mark. So, so if they ever had the chance to remove your place, there's another identifying mark on the windshield. That's for the private private motorist. But if you are a public utility vehicle, what's good with the third plate sticker is that it also indicates your route. Meaning if you're applying the route of Cubao, Quiapo, or if you're a taxi, or if you're a if you're a bus, it is also indicated there, not only for the protection of the motor vehicle owner, but of the passengers as well. Thank you, Jason, for taking the time to explain this issue to our viewers before we let you go. Do you still have any further message to the general motoring public relevant to the issue we have discussed? Well, thank you very much, Sir Butch. It's, again, it's always a pleasure to be on your show. And thank you for the opportunity to let us in, um, uh, explain to the motoring public what we're doing in LTO. Um, to, to our clients, our uh, stakeholders, rest assured that your LTO will not rest until we have improved and make sure that everybody on the road will be safe. Thank you, Jason. Mr. Jason Salvador, spokesperson of LTO, our guest this week on Motoring Today's Motoring Forum.